Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Todd, this is GreenhornBBQBeer.com and today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a barbecue crawl. We, I didn't really intend to make a video for you, but uh, when I discovered I was actually going somewhere new, uh, I really felt like I needed to, get, uh, to take you guys along for the ride. So, so sit back, relax, and we'll see you in a bit. So a few times a year I go out to El Paso for work, usually up into New Mexico uh, in the Las Cruces or Alamogordo area. So this time we brought a, a bunch of uh, barbecue fans and I wanted, to, I wanted to take them to Desert Oak Barbecue and go and see Richard, say hi to him again. Uh, if you recall, I did a barbecue crawl down Desert Oak Barbecue a few months back. Um, definitely go check it out. I'll try to leave a link above to it. Um, uh, but they're closed on Tuesdays and we were really bummed. So we went to Yelp, Yelp to the rescue and discovered that the number two place in El Paso is this uh, traditional barbecue establishment called Tony's the Pit Barbecue uh, down near downtown El Paso. They've been there since 1958 um, and they serve up some really great delicious food. And so um, uh, we went ahead and and cruised from the airport on over there. It was a quick hop westbound on the 10, got off the freeway, and within a mile, we were there. Um, parking was easy, uh, and uh, we got in there right away, sat down. We're lucky we got in there when we did because the lunch crowd was just starting to show up after we got there, and, and uh, it was almost standing room only. Um, I'll try and include a few pictures for you to check that out. So I ordered the brisket from the point I ordered a rib and a couple sides. Um, I'm sorry that I, I didn't get uh, any interviews with, with the owner or anything. I, I really wasn't there to, to um, do a complete review on, on everything they had. So it was really just a quick stop, show you guys what we did. And on a scale of one to 10, I put them both on a 10. They're both great barbecue, but they both definitely have two different styles. Um, you'll like either one depending on, on what your preference is. All right, so I just finished my lunch and uh, here at Tony's, Tony's the Pit Barbecue. It was really good. This was our plan B because Desert Oak Barbecue was uh, closed and it was Tuesday. But uh, look this up on Yelp. It was uh, rated number two to Desert Oak Barbecue, so we went for it. Uh, Josh, what would you think of your food? A plus. A plus. So, so far we got two thumbs up. Um, it was definitely cooked in, 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 in a different way. Um, they coined it as traditional. They've been here since 1958. The sauce was really good. The sides were really good, the ones I had anyway. The macaroni salad, potato salad, they were all good. And uh, I definitely give this thing two thumbs up. And uh, maybe another time we'll come here and do a better barbecue grill and I'll get a tour of the smoker. Uh, not sure what kind of smoker it is, but it's inside. It's a brick smoker with the lid on top. I don't know what they call that in Texas, but uh, check them out. Um, they're in El Paso, and you won't be disappointed. It was really good. All right, Six Pack, what's your vote on Tony's The Barbecue Pit? I'll give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Definitely uh, check out the beef. Chicken was okay. The green chili was bomb. The sauce was good. The service was good. Right on. I'll give it two thumbs up. Right on. All right. Be sure to check it out. And that's about it, folks. So if you like this, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for updates, and uh, definitely comment and share when you can. That really helps us out, and we appreciate it when you guys are showing appreciation for the channel. And be sure to hit up our Teespring store for the swag. We have uh, different style hats there than this, but I think you'll like them nonetheless. And we got some shirts, stickers, and some other stuff you might find uh, appealing and, uh, you know, it's never too late to start shopping for Christmas, so go, go check it out. So until next time, see you later.